How's it going, YouTube? Oh, it's been a minute since I made a video. But, I finally got down to wiring that fan up. So, it works now. Some fan got another radiator because my other one was leaking. Um, mainly it. I ain't got the power steering hooked up yet. I need another bracket. This one sucks. Um, a little dress up on there, but it's still a little dirty up on the hood. I guess power steering fluid. Still haven't figured out my eyelid issue yet. I don't know why I said I was at 1500. So, uh, yeah. Got my custom made, um, floor mats in here. I like them. I like them a lot. I know the pedals look like crap, but it's alright. Um. So, yeah. Now you can hear the fan when I turn the switch on. I got it bootleg right here. You can hear the idling. See, I still have to down with checking the light. And the check engine light is telling me that it's a, it's the ECU. And two step only hits now at four grand instead of being 45. So, and when it does that, it kind of smokes. Sometimes, not all the time. Um. I just don't know what the issue could be with this island. I know I put the DLS throttle kick body back on there. And changed the map sensor out with my a newer map sensor. But still having this island issue. I haven't checked all my vacuum leaks, but to be constant at Okay. Kind of like my TPS messed up, but I don't think it's that. Because sometimes it'll, well, it used to cut down the regular idle, and then when I drive it, it go right back to 1500. So I don't know. It could be the. Uh, It could be the ECU, but darn it, I don't feel like buying another ECU right now. I paid 120 for that one, and it's a uh, chip one by Faribault. So yeah, um, I just need some feedback on that right now. It's so messy in here, still. It's looking better though, got that strip boot in there. So, I gave it a little more dress up. That was the blue stitching. That's the blue around here. And the blue radio. Alright, folks, that's it for now. Peace out.